Hi, uh, I'm recording this video in response to Muslims Like Us TV program as uh, the show in general and some of people's reaction towards the show. Surprisingly, people have only seen two hours out of ten days, yet they feel they're like knowledgeable enough to be able to criticize what they saw. So, um, first of all, I would like to clarify a couple of things. Uh, the first one, my interaction with the EDL. Um, I was having a kind of 8 to 10 minutes chat with the uh, guy. Uh, the way we got into, uh, to talk to each other was Farhan was drinking and the cameraman was showing him drinking and he didn't want to show that on camera. And then the ADL member would start shouting like, show it on camera, you hypocrite. And uh, I don't know, I thought the same. And I told Farhan, if you're about being open, why don't you show the drink on the camera? Because you're about being open and... Uh, uh, discussing things rather than hiding it. Anyway, so after that interaction, I went to the uh, guy and we were talking uh, and I he had a snake and I was holding his snake. We talked about accents, we talked about cultures, we talked about countries and uh, philosophy. And after that eight minutes chat, uh, we stood up and he was telling me I'm an EDL. So that what, they produced, what the producers did was they cut off every, all the conversation. They showed me kind of the huggy person. I'm not a huggy person. And I totally agree with Nabil that these people should be confronted with what they do. But the reason I behaved the way I did, because he, we were having a, like kind of a short conversation one-to-one, -one, uh, human to human. We were not talking EDL to a Muslim. We were not talk, uh, kind of attacking each other. So, and I found it a good chance that we focus on our similarities to build the bridges and to remove the misconceptions that he has. The second one was about uh, when the lady, when we were doing Dawah store on the street and the lady is like raised her top. She's like, if I walk like that in your country, would that be all right? My answer to her was simply, yes, you can walk in some streets. Some streets in Syria will be able to walk like that. However, in some streets in London, you won't be able to walk like that. So it's not about the religion. It's not about the country. It's about the people and how they are brought up. Um, the producers yet, they decided to not show me as well. And uh, yeah... Commenting on, uh, about the house in general, um, I didn't feel like I was living in a house where like, we're trying to uh, express how Islam, Islam views on things. Rather, there was people talking about things for their own um, uh, reasons. So, for example, uh, one, of my, one of the activities that was, was to do with, with my charity, I wanted to do um, raising awareness about the refugee crisis. But uh, producers didn't find it, didn't find enough drama in that activity, so they didn't show it. However, when we were doing the charity, I was talking to people about what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and then suddenly Farhan um, says, "I want to talk about refugees persecuted uh, because they're homosexuals," and I was really like surprised, like, "Mate, we are talking about refugees, regardless of their sexuality, regardless if they're educated or not, regardless if they're rich or poor. We just talk about refugees. Can we focus on refugees because this show is not about you and about uh, what you want to say?" And uh, yeah, that uh, hopefully went, uh, didn't make it to the edit anyway. And I uh, saw so one of the vloggers, he was kind of uh, criticizing the, the contributors and uh, like everyone. And when he saw Marine, just because the TV program the producers want to show her as the shining um, uh, person in the house, I still respect Marine. I love this person, uh, this human being. She's amazing, she's loving, she's understanding, she's nice. However, when we talk about um, Islam practice, I lived for 10 days and not even for once, I felt like we we're kind of. Uh, expressing Islamic views, rather people were talking about how their parents got married and sometimes about the Kardashians, sometimes about... And um, Nabil, Zora, Abdul Haq, me, we we're trying to express or discuss uh, things from Islamic perspective to kind of uh, show people differences in diversity and how we see things. But uh, yeah, so the guy was kind of talking about Mahirin, he's like, oh, subhanAllah, mashallah, look, we should not judge people according to how they look. We should uh, judge according to their behaviors. Yes, I agree with that. That's totally fair play. But we, you cannot deny that modesty is part of uh, Islam appearance for the Muslim woman. You cannot kind of... Uh, yeah, there is a difference between a person being good human beings like Mahreen and a person being uh, trying to express um, Muslim uh, religion um, practice. Uh, like what Nabil was trying to do and the, the anti-blackness in the house was kind of very surprising that people actually th some, some people thought that Nabil was very angry for his onions um, and they didn't see like how the, the division or the events took place in the previous three days uh, which was 
Which was annoying because it's not about onions. I think any person, uh, any any person in the world who, if they were, if they were in the Bill's shoes, they would at least kind of uh, push Farhan a bit uh, backwards when he kind of uh, moved forward towards him. He's like, "Get on top of But Nabil was held his temperature, and uh, because the events, especially about the colon colonialism, that things words came out of Farhan's mouth, and uh, these people started cooking together, eating together, socializing together. They never did the dishes. Abdul Haq was the person who was doing the dishes all the time. I'm, I'm t- and uh, I just want to point out, I'm not talking now to please anyone. I'm not talking now to get YouTube uh, views. I don't use YouTube. I'm just using this channel to kind of express things and. Um, um, Kind of tell people how, how did it really go rather than just somebody comes and uh, act smart and uh, start criticizing people. No, Mehrina was a great person, amazing person, loving, understanding, nice, but she was not uh, interested in expressing uh, religion views. And this program, I would totally agree if people, if this program was the big brother, but it's not. It's a TV program so you can see how Muslims practice their religion. Ironically enough, we found a person send messages to God, we found a person who uh, thinks. Islam is okay with homosexuality without proof or evidence. We found a, a person who talks about the Kardashians and leave uh, leftovers in their food. We found them. So it's okay. I, I totally, I'm not against that. I would want people to realize the differences between uh, expressing or representing uh, Islam, which is a big responsibility, and being kind and nice people. So um, that was... Uh, uh, there also other people ask me like how come you're a refugee in the UK and you're in Miami well <laughs> ironically enough people always label and generalize refugees uh, I actually intentionally mentioned that I'm in Miami because I don't want people to generalize and label refugees in one label so refugees could be um, rich and poor could be educated and uneducated could be nice good and bad so the word refugee labels people from different communities speak different languages follow different faiths and have different mindsets we label them in one label refugees uh, now I'm in Alabama uh, Birmingham if that makes people uh, people happy who were uh, criticizing me being a Miami and refugee I'm not taking uh, your tax money to travel um, able to afford to and I came to the US as part of my charity which I will be talking about if people uh, wanted to find out more. Basically, my charity is the link between people who want to help and people who need the help without taking any administration costs or overheads or management fees. Now, um, I'll, I received a lot of messages. I'm sorry if I couldn't uh, respond to all of them, but I want to thank everyone, uh, whether they send hate uh, messages or love messages or support messages. You're all kind and thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the TV program. If you have any questions in regards to the TV program, rather than making YouTube video to make to have views uh, or people try to speak to one of the contributors get pr- different perspectives and remember it's 10 days edited into two hours according to what the producers want you to see so don't really kind of think that you know or you've seen I was in the house it was, it was very intensive experience it was very uh, there's there's a lot of drama like the, the producers were trying to add drama into every scene in the show so they can get more views and I don't think the, the show overall represent uh, Islam or Islamic views. The producers wanted you to see, well, Abdul Haq, you should never even listen to him or discuss him, rather than, actually, this guy is coming from a religious background. Let's try to challenge his views. Let's, he's he's t- telling Islamic State is something he supports. But I'm from Syria, and I'm more than happy to discuss and talk with him about like some facts to check about the Islamic States, but they didn't even give me the chance to do it. I, I tried several times, and one of the times, ironically, a person uh, changed the topic to how their parents got married. And I was like, oh my God, guys, this is, this is really annoying. However, uh, if you have any questions, again, do ask me, and I'm happy to ask, uh, either respond uh, via private messaging or to make another video if uh, a lot of people ask the same question. And uh, thank you.